42 million of you guys watched me surprise my 15 year old with a bedroom makeover and one of the biggest questions was what about her little sis so let's surprise my youngest with her very own big girl room Gigi will be nine in january but i couldn't wait any longer to read her her room she's currently in the upstairs loft because her bedroom originally was really small so she switched with her dad's office which means she didn't have a closet or a door so we have a lot of work cut out for us i already went ahead and created some closet space using the ikea pack system and the lac bookcase more on that later if you're interested Gigi's been desperate for more big girl space and i'm so excited to do this for her and this time my husband's home to help which means i get to tell him what he's doing wrong which is always nice for her doorway I went with a more temporary solution with the velvet curtains. I think they turned out so cute. Gigi's out right now, but she's going to be home pretty soon, so we're really racing against the clock. Her two teenage sisters were very sweet to take her out for the day, and all we had to do is ask kiss a little bit and give them $50 each. My main goal for this makeover is just to make her room feel a little bit more functional and to maybe stop sneaking into her parents' room in the middle of the night. I know I didn't have my own room until I was like 14 years old, so this girl's got it made, and she doesn't even know it. But she's the easiest to shop for, so this was so much fun. And this is the part where I hung the Ikea photo ledge and it came crashing down. Glass everywhere. Photo collage it is. Finishing touches. Everything is so cute. And we just got a text from her big sister. They are heading home right now. I'm literally freaking out. So excited. I hope she loves everything just as much as I do. And here's how everything looks from the staircase. Literally so much better. I cannot wait to see her reaction when she gets home. What do you guys think? Back on my independent woman ish, today we are building a whole bedroom from scratch, you guys. What's really sparked this project is I got this bed frame super duper affordable. I was shocked at the price because these usually go for like $2,000. Everything is from Amazon, by the way, if you want to shop it. But it came out so beautifully, and this was my first time using a screwdriver, and I feel unstoppable, girl. There's going to be pictures all over my house now. <laughs> So I wasn't sure which nice and I liked better, so we kept putting everything together. These sheets are incredible. They feel like butter, and if you really want to elevate your bedroom, get a linen duvet. Oh my god, they look so gorgeous, and they're so breathable and comfy. Highly recommend checking out all of these linens. They were super duper affordable, too, but I ended up going with this nightstand. Oh my god, she was the easiest thing to assemble ever. I was shocked. It's adding a few decorative pieces, also from Amazon, and here's how it came out. It really feels like I'm sleeping in a hotel now, and I can't believe I did this all by myself what this is our guest bedroom and over the last week we've been transforming this space into something that we actually like so after cleaning up the subfloor i started prepping the surface for three quarter inch hardwoods install definitely took the longest but seeing the stain get applied after long days of nailing and sanding was well worth it the polyurethane went on quickly and we gave it plenty of time to dry before lexi got started working her magic a rug from amazon and a bed frame from wayfair were the first things to get added after hanging art and making the bed all that was left was sitting back and admiring a lot of hard work now it's time for guests to enjoy I'm renovating my daughter's bedroom and she had three requests for this new space. She wanted a built-in bed, tons of lighting, and she wanted carpet. So I'm adding these peel and stick Traffic Master carpet tiles from the Home Depot and they were so easy to install. Once the flooring was done, I used these unfinished kitchen cabinets for the base of this built-in. I added some beadboard for the backing and then made shelves to frame out the entire bed space so she would have tons and tons of storage. Once the built-ins were completely done, I started back in with the wood trim. I added a fresh coat of paint and then I went back and did the face framing for the entire built-in, added a little bit of bendable trim for those hard spaces and then finished everything off with some furniture. And here is the final look. Seriously, what a dream. Can I come live here with you? Last time I gave my oldest daughter's room a makeover, I put her desk in her closet, and since then she's acquired two new pieces of antique furniture, so I'm having to rearrange the space a little bit to make everything really fit. So I'm moving her bed inside of her closet now, which turned out perfect because it gave us more floor space on the outside of her room. And then of course, if you missed the other videos, her closet still has another side, so that's where all her clothes are. These are her new pieces of furniture. I've got my work cut out for me, but this room is going to be amazing when I'm done with it. Welcome back to part two of my daughter's surprise room makeover. I got right to it that morning and started moving some stuff out of her room because I knew we needed it as empty as possible so we could move in some new furniture like her new desk and then rearrange some of her old furniture. So we cleaned up a little bit, 
started moving some stuff around, adding her new decor, like her stuffed animal mat. We also got her a trophy and metal shelves. We hung that, some new curtains. We put her calendar back on the wall, some more new decor, her bookshelf. We also hung some really cool lights. We got her her desk, so we got her a new chair. Come back for part three to see the reveal. Really don't feel old enough to have a kid going to middle school, but here we are. So since she's entering a new era, I felt like her room should too. And I started off by painting over the green accent wall and making it blue. Now, I don't know what this paint color is called because I mixed it in my garage. It's the color Thundercloud by Bear mixed with the color Pure White by Sherwin-Williams. And I'm a bad influencer, but I didn't want to buy new paint if I could just use what I had, you know? Also, she got new furniture. This is all from Costway. If you're not familiar, their website has a huge selection of home items at really great prices, and I'm actually very pleased with everything we got. The bed has drawers under it, which makes so much sense to me, and she also got a new dresser, nightstand, and desk. The desk also needed to double as a vanity, so I put this cute mirror on the side, and then I put up some new gold decor for her. I got these frames, a new lamp, and of course, new bedding. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. This bedroom is so relaxing, and I'm kind of jealous. My middle school bedroom in the 2000s was hot pink and black with beaded curtains everywhere, but let's not even get into that. We also went in and purged her entire closet, organized everything, and got rid of so much stuff. So I'm super happy with how it turned out, and so is she. And I think she's going into her middle school era feeling good. Anyway, let me know what you think of her new room down in the comments. And if you're a millennial mom like me, I really want to know what was your middle school room theme because there is no way it was as cool and calm and collected as this one.